What's up, Vikings Nation? Well, with the 24th overall pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Quinton Johnston, wide receiver out of TCU. At least that's what NFL.com has in their latest mock draft, so let's talk about it. Despite releasing Adam Thielen, the Minnesota Vikings have yet to address the wide receiver during the offseason. This approach sends a pretty clear signal of one potential need during the NFL draft. Unless the Vikings feel comfortable with KJ Osborne and Justin Jefferson as their wide receivers, they'll likely need to select one at some point during the draft. NFL.com's Rhett Lewis first mock draft has the Vikings taking a wide receiver early, selecting TCU's Quinton Johnson in the first round. This is kind of what he said. He said, Hendon Hooker is off the board here, and the Vikings could use some help on defense, but the potential of pairing a big-bodied physical specimen with Justin Jefferson might be too appealing to pass up in this scenario. Now, Johnston has some work to do with his hands, but he offers terrific run-after-the-catch ability and could elevate some, uh, alleviate some pressure on Justin Jefferson. Now, measuring in at six foot four, Johnston has a unique blend of size and athleticism making him an intriguing player early in the draft while he's likely to clean up his hands. As Lewis mentioned, Johnson would fit in nicely with Jefferson and could create a fortified group of offensive weapons for whoever their quarterback of the future is. It's also interesting that Lewis mentioned Hendon Hooker is a possible selection. Now, Hooker seems to be gaining more traction as a first-round selection, and the Vikings need to figure out who their future quarterback is. If they remain at pick 23, then Hooker could be an option for the Vikings. But Quentin Johnston seems like a pretty decent selection at wide receiver or at the 24th pick for the Minnesota Vikings. I mean, look at this guy, okay? Dog, if you will. 6'4", 215 pounds. He's a brute. He's a big-bodied receiver. Like they said, he needs to work on his hands a little bit, which that kind of makes a little sense. I mean, only six touchdowns last year. He did have over 1,000 yards receiving. They had that national cha uh, national championship run. They did lose, okay? They played a bunch of dogs in Georgia, and it was kind of inevitable that they were going to lose that game. But just solely based off his stats right there, you can kind of see that he might not be able to catch the greatest uh, pass that's thrown to him and stuff like that. He needs to be better in that uh, kind of realm, I guess, at the wide receiver position. But I would like the selection, any wide receiver, whether it's round one, round three, or if we somehow end up trading something to get a round two pick, I'd be okay with it. We just need to kind of address that position in our roster. We definitely need a corner. We all know that. Who knows if we're going to make a selection at 24 for a corner. I'm not really sure, but that's kind of where I would lean towards. You guys can let me know in the comments what you would think about Quentin Johnson on the Minnesota Vikings. Also, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It would be much, much appreciated. Have a great rest of your day, folks, and Skull Vikes.